temperature. Second, a few points that comes here. Studies are listed in alphabetical order. This point okay. here. It says that Milne and Lackenster 2001, Oslon and the other in 1999 and all those things. It gives the reader an idea of what the paper will cover. And the third point that is remarked, this is considered jargon and needs to be explained. And the fourth one focuses only on reviewing literature that supports hypothesis. Very important four points the research guide is uh, putting here. So first, your hypothesis is clear. Secondly, the, uh, the articles that are written on that particular hypothesis that are highlighted. Third one, if you are using jargons, then be careful that at the beginning of any article you explain those jargons also. It is not necessarily found that all the readers of your articles are well versed in those jargons also. So, at the initial stage while we are doing a literature review, it is a good practice to go on simplifying jargons. Mm -hmm. And the last one is that focuses only on reviewing literature that supports hypothesis. We are very clearly excluding all those material which are not relevant to our hypothesis. Well, this was the another example. And the last one that we come to uh, a kind of a study that is related to computer assisted language learning. Call. Yes, call. This is uh, one of the best example of uh, literature uh, review and uh, it, was pre uh, it was supposed to appear in the journal of research uh, on technology in education. Uh, it reviews, rather the title of this review was a look at the research on computer based technology used in second language learning review of literature from 1990 to 2000. One entire decade has been considered by the, the reviewers to go through that what has been discussed. It was submitted in the University of uh, Texas at uh, Austin. I would take you to the important page that we want to see here that comes on page number 29. Again, I would like to say that I regret the size of the font, but only because I wanted to bring the same original document. No, it is uh, I have brought Even this if you PDF. you cannot uh, see that on the screen, hmm. it will make uh, them feel that, you know, this is how, this is how it is yes. being uh, so, uh, so That was the prime wrong. intention that this is how the, the review should also look. Yeah, but we can read the figures and yeah, we can read the words. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, well, on the screen you say table number 1. Names of the journals and the numbers of the relevant articles included. See the, the mammoth task that has been done by these reviewers which has considered almost 10 years, a decade into consideration. On one side, the, the journals that has been reviewed by uh, this group of uh, reviewers, then from 1990 to 2000, total number of articles that they have reviewed from a particular journal and the last column is very important, number of articles relevant for the study. We can see very well that out of hundreds of articles we are reading, maybe 8 to 10 percent of them may be really useful to us. Others are not at all useful. But that does not mean that our reading goes, uh, is just wasted. It also is useful somewhere. Because in, in uh, putting your point or in putting your argument forward, all those things that you have read is always going to be helpful. Well, so on the screen you can see that out of 284 articles that has been reviewed in a decade from modern language journal, only 13 were really useful. From Calico journal, 184 articles reviewed, only 69 were useful. Uh, from Computers and Education, 581, only 15 were uh, useful. Coming to the concluding figures, 4981 articles were reviewed. And out of that, only 246 were really uh, useful. <laughs> so, this Simulation. is the, the mammoth task that uh, uh, the research scholar undergoes under the chapter of literature review. This is never going to have, uh, be like uh, you read 5, 10 articles, couple of books and then you can say that I have done my literature review. It is really a mammoth task. One has to undergo reading <coughs> lot of things and then finding out that what things are really useful to us. The second table also is quite interesting. 
which can be a kind of uh, the model for all the research <coughs> scholars. Table 2 reads research studies on computer use in second language learning. How well the entire articles that is more than 4000 articles that are reviewed and out of which the number of articles 200 or so which has been useful they have been bifurcated into different kind of uh, working terminology that okay this particular section goes for this and so thing now we, if you don't do this kind of table formation perhaps again our literature review <coughs> remains incomplete exactly. so it says that the reference the name of the person then the reference focus so this is where we gave a subtitle to our presentation that it is focused reading we are in search of something here it is reports finding of some assessment that is done then the third one is the technology used for the second language acquisition sample size and grade level and then the general findings they are quite well focused here and this was uh, the beauty of this particular literature review that they had been very focused into their work in identifying what they really wanted to do well so this is one of the best uh, thing that i have found while surfing through different resources for this presentation and you can see the kind of a work that has been done here almost 70 various kind of uh, things has been identified and then it has been put before uh, other things there is one decade 1990 to 2000 2000 yes. 10 years uh, many uh, uh, journals worldwide they are published that have been assessed more yes. than uh, 4000 almost 5000 articles were reviewed focus reading found that only 200 or 240 are useful yeah. Yeah. and uh, they come to it and out of that they prepared this wonderful so table yeah. uh, the work of not only those reviewers but any reviewer who want to work on any call related topics or any ELT related topic if you just go through this literature review it gives you an idea that now what work is required to be done uh, only this particular slide is useful to all those teachers who want to work on ELT and computer assisted language learning that now what are the steps that needs to be taken where the research has stopped in 2000 and now where uh, we can yeah, move, we ahead. move ahead move ahead yeah. Uh, well, it was uh, great to uh, have a look at the four samples that you got and the last one is is a big so, yeah. uh, task <coughs> that they have completed yeah. basically. And I, I hope uh, the, the viewers would find uh, the lecture very useful when they are reviewing the literature for their research work. But sir, uh, are there any tools available on the internet which mm -hmm. could be used by the researchers yeah. while uh, reviewing? whatever yeah. they need to yeah if you could provide some well uh, 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 in fact uh, uh, i expected this question when i came to know that i'm going to sit with uh, tarun patel <laughs> uh, who also is uh, a very good well known name so far as the technology and language learning and online journals and other things are concerned exactly i do agree uh, uh, so when i came to know that uh, he's going to share a platform with me i <laughs> i put those slides and i know that he's going to ask me those those questions well, very interestingly as asked because if you do this all work manually, uh, it is very difficult to uh, organize everything in an order. Uh, when the menial task becomes very difficult, we always go to the technology to take one or the other kind of a help. But, uh, what are the sources which can be easily available to a research scholar when he is working on the review of a literature? Now, this thing is very interesting. At times we find so many websites, so many online articles, various books. Google books uh, and many Amazon kind of a book source also from where we come to know that these books, these articles are useful to me. But now, uh, how to record all those things? Uh, if I have any online platform where I can use those things, then it can be helpful. I would like to say that if we use bookmarking websites, this can be done in a better organized way. So, you know that there is a series of this bookmarking uh, web website. So, we see that there is a stumble upon, dig, reddit and all those many such websites which are useful for bookmarking the websites. The best of thing that I would like to say is uh, delicious.com. Okay. Yeah. So, on delicious.com you can open our own account and it gives us an, uh, as a kind of uh, uh, the facility where I can write the URL of the online article journal or the books wherever it is available. And along with that, I can write a description also. Okay. The description okay. which we have discussed that this is what is very important exactly. for a literature review. Right. That this is an article. So, my 
prime of essay when i am reading that article i come to know that this is the core thing that is useful to me mm-hmm. right maybe that book or article is written with any other mm-hmm. purpose but for me that particular book is uh, of importance for so and so idea so that you could recall whenever recall it whenever that it down. this so right. so a, a brief summary that this delicious uh, website allows me to write so this right. is one source where i can easily bookmark mm-hmm. my website so time and again whenever i come back i can refer to the sources and i i can use it for my final drafting of exactly. the thesis or dissertation right. uh, also the That's another thing that can be used is uh, uh, google docs we can make a small form mm-hmm. uh, where we can give the website name and a brief description of that also and whenever we come across any good book we just go to the site we type out the things and submit the button mm-hmm. right. and uh, as you know that we get a ready made excel spreadsheet yes. where we can easily conclude that what things were uh, discussed yes. So uh, even if you are using a, a kind of a smart mobile you can easily access Google Docs on that so in case you are roaming in a library you come across some good book Quite you are reading an introduction of the book like and you thought that okay this book is worth reading you can just type down something yes and your documents are ready your spreadsheet is ready with what you work you want to uh, do so these are uh, something uh, so far as the technology is concerned yeah, that right. uh, uh, it can help us in a methodology for a literature uh, review, review. <coughs> Anything else Tarun bhai? Uh, well, I I was uh, sharing the uh, sharing the platform with uh, the two big men. But <laughs> for me <laughs> it was uh, uh, an experience of its kind because uh, this is for the first time that I am uh, coming to this uh, great place and I hope I would be coming and coming and coming. <laughs> uh, so it it was a good experience to know even about the resources and uh, i would request my dear students to note down uh, the contact details of dr bharat so in case you are in trouble while uh, reviewing something you could directly get in touch with him it's good that he has not shared his mobile number <laughs> <laughs> otherwise he, he might face lots yes. of yeah. <laughs> the facebook links are given and when the website <laughs> link is given you can find uh, the mobile number from those sources also <laughs> okay. so thank, thank you, you sir thank you thank you, thank you very much <laughs> uh so uh, dear students i am pretty sure that you must have uh, liked it and uh, uh, you know research methodology is something which is uh, which is not only a matter of hard work but the hard work in the correct direction is equally essential and uh, when it comes to uh, the literature review i think uh, uh, this lecture is going to help you a lot we are also trying to make this lecture available to you in uh, next week also i mean if it is possible we will try to make a series of uh, research methodology lectures uh, we are also in a plan to make a, a compilation of a few uh, uh, lectures say 25 to 30 lectures if any student or a faculty member wants to go into the research they can make you know they can get help out of it so that's it i would uh, take an opportunity to thank you i mean this thank is you. wonderful that you both spared your time and you come to the studio and we are very happy that you went into the minute details you actually brought right. uh, the papers and uh, though we couldn't see the fonts that doesn't matter because you know it gave us a feel that you know this is how we are supposed to uh, go ahead with right so thank you, thank you very much uh, friends thank and thank you very much uh, dear guests thank you thank you Thank you.